New exclusive CNN reporting about highly classified intelligence that went missing at the end of the Trump administration. The intelligence was related to Russian election interference in the United States. It was so secret, it was kept inside a safe within another safe at CIA headquarters. But in the final weeks of the Trump administration, a copy of that intelligence was put inside a binder brought to the White House as part of an effort to declassify documents related to the FBI's Russia probe. And from there, the trail goes cold. Our Katie Bolillis helped report out all of this, and she joins us this morning. Why is this significant to the American people? So this, this binder that was brought to the White House contained raw intelligence that the U.S. and its NATO allies collected on Russia's efforts to meddle in the 2016 election, including sources and methods, which were some of the most sensitive information in the intelligence world. So what we're talking about here is the underlying intelligence that formed the basis of the U.S. government's assessment that Russian President Vladimir Putin sought to help Trump win the 2016 election. And the disappearance of this binder was so alarming to the intelligence Thank officials you, that, according to our sources. They briefed Senate Intelligence Committee leadership about the situation last year. Now, we're told by one U.S. official familiar with the matter that this was not among the classified items that were found in last year's search of Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort, and it wasn't why the FBI searched Trump's residence. But what is true is that more than two years after it went missing, this intelligence still does not appear to have been found. This, I am so fascinated by this story and also how the intelligence ended up at the White House. Yeah, so, so Trump had spent years trying to declassify material that he said would prove his claims that the Russia investigation was a hoax. And this intelligence was part of a massive collection of documents that he ordered brought to the White House. And there was this sort of frantic scramble in the final days of the administration to redact the documents so that they could be declassified and released publicly. On his last full day as president, Trump did issue a declassification order for these materials, but they didn't get released before he left office. And there's actually a Trump ally who has filed suit over this, hoping to force the federal government's hand. And we, in, in reporting this story, uh, CNN spoke to more than a dozen sources, my colleagues and I, who, who all of whom described sort of how this intelligence was brought to the White House in the final weeks of Trump's presidency and then went missing. Any clues about what happened to it? <laughs> yeah, we we don't know exactly what happened to the binder that, that went missing. There is one theory that has emerged from testimony from Cassidy Hutchinson, the former top aide to former chief of staff Mark Meadows. She told the January 6th committee that she was, quote, almost positive it went home with Mr. Meadows. She said that the binder had been kept in a safe in Meadows's office when it wasn't being worked on. Hutchinson also wrote about this classified intelligence in her new book. She claimed that on January 19th, the final night of the Trump presidency, that she saw Meadows leave the White House with an unredacted binder, quote, tucked under his arm. Now, Mark Meadows' attorney strongly denies this, and he said in a statement to us, quote, Mr. Meadows was keenly aware of and adhered to requirements for the proper handling of classified material any such material that he handled or was in his possession has been treated accordingly, and any suggestion that he is responsible for any missing binder or other classified information is flat wrong. We also reached out to officials with the CIA, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, and the Justice Department, all of whom declined to comment. The Trump campaign also didn't respond to our request to comments for the binder, which all of which to say is that the mystery of this missing binder remains just that, a mystery. All of which is to say you're going to keep digging. Yes. Uh, Katie, <laughs> Paul Lillis, thank you.